10 sales in 10 minutes. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to a 10 sales in 10 minutes video. So hopefully these videos will be weekly now um, and I don't really know what day but we'll just sort of play it by ear, it'll just get uploaded whenever, I don't know. But um, but yeah, I mean, this week has been, in terms of sales, this week has been mainly focused on bread and butter. There's been a few nicer higher value items, but nothing mega. My highest value item going out this week was £42, so nothing amazing, but there's been tons of bread and butter stuff. What I've done is put two of the slightly higher value items either side of the update, so one higher value item is number one and the other higher value item is number 10 so be sure to stick around till the end uh, to find out what that number 10 is because it's quite a nice item actually quite a, an interesting item and I, something that i really like selling um so yeah first off was a gank coat it was a brown men's coat and i paid 10 pound for that and i turned that into 35 pound plus p and p after a week of listing so Really happy with that one. I've been having great success with men's coats. I really like them. Really like dealing with them, listing them, all that sort of stuff. The only thing I would say is I do need a longer term photography solution for men's coats. I can't really keep doing it on the back of the door or spread out on the floor. I just don't feel it suits the level of professionalism I want to bring to my eBay store. Um, but saying that, some of my photos are shocking and they do really need update, updating from, you know, maybe a year ago. Some of them were pretty bad. Um, or even even a few months ago, some of them are pretty bad. Lighting situations and all that sort of stuff. So, um, so yeah, I do feel like I need to up my game with a photography on the coat and on other, in other areas as well. Um, but yeah, so anyway, next was a, a set of Disney pins. If you saw my chat with Caroline the other week, I picked up about 10 of these pins on a, on a lanyard for 50p. And I sold this uh, little bundle for £10 free postage. And I, as I say, I paid 50p for the lot. The others are still listed for maybe a total listed value of about 20 or 30 quid. So can't complain there anyway. Something really cool. Vintage glasses stamped with like a GR. Um, I think these were quite older. I wouldn't say antique, but I think, doing a bit of research and stuff, I think these were under the reign of George VI, which would have been 1936 to 1952, so that sort of era. Um, and they went really quick. Glasses I've always had no luck with. Big, big fail in my eyes. Uh, very, very slow to go in bundles or singularly. Obviously, if you get the right ones, then they'll go fairly quick. But I was picking up, like, your bog-standard Fosters, Carling, things like that. They ju just do not go. I've had other successes with, like, Beer Steins, and they're a bit better. Um, but these were by far the best glasses, the quickest selling glasses that I've ever had. And I got 12 quid for them and I paid a quid. And I, I paid a quid probably less than a week ago. So they sold within a few days. It was really, really good. Um, and I'm happy that I found some some glasses that will actually sell. So, yeah, that's them anyway. Next was a Panasonic CD, uh, like a CD player, like a Walkman type thing. I can't quite remember. All I've wrote down here is Panasonic CD. Um... That could be anything, to be fair, but I really should write down better descriptions of these things. Um, I got £20 free postage and packaging, and I paid three quid. It was ages ago, but I'm glad that's gone anyway. So, yeah, nice little bit of profit in that, and I'm glad it's gone. Um, Lego, one kilogram of Duplo. This was from a big jumble sale haul I had last December, and it obviously didn't go out over fourth quarter, um, which is quite surprising, because a lot of the Lego did go. Um, I got 12 quid for that and I paid a quid, so can't complain there, nice little uh, nice little bread and butter sale. Um, this Nerf gun was in that £40 job lot I had in that haul video from upstairs in one of the charity shops. And I got £20 plus shipping, as I say I paid 40 quid 
for the job lot. I, I think I have, yeah, I think I have sold another one. So um, I don't know whether I'm in profit on that job lot yet, but I've got a load of other st other Nerf guns listed. So surely at some point I will be. So, uh, but that's that one anyway. Uh, hockey stick. If you've been a follower of my channel for a while, maybe I don't know six months to a year. Uh, last car boot season, I picked up a hockey stick because. Uh, the car boot was dismal and I found myself picking up things that I really wouldn't normally pick up and just picking them up for the sake of it really. I paid 250 for this thinking you know what I'll just stick it on if it goes and it goes for some money that's great. Um, and it took a while to sell but it sold for £13 plus shipping which I'm happy about you know from 250 it's not too bad considering I thought it was a fail anyway. Um, so yeah, yeah, you can really sell anything, you know, if you pick something up with a car boot and you're really, really thinking it won't sell, just stick it on and maybe in six months, a year, it'll sell. So, it's all about just sort of that persistence and, and just keeping, keeping an eye on things in your store and just making sure it's going fairly well and they've got watches and all that sort of stuff and decreasing the price if you feel the need to um but just keep up that persistence keep things listed don't just pull them off after a few months because they're not selling um you know keep them listed and at some point you will sell um so yeah that was that one i got a swatch watch and this was i believe the year of the dragon one i bought this about i don't know a week and a half ago and I paid 10 quid for it and I turned that into £30 plus postage. I really feel like my um, picking skills are getting better because a lot of the things I've been getting recently have been in and out, literally in and out, you know, really quick, quick, nice, easy turnovers. Um, and that's what I want. So I do feel like I am starting to progress with my skills um, and hopefully at some point in my career, I'll be able to do that with every single item and hardly any items will be like really sticky or really fa you know, really big fails or anything. Um, but you never know, that is a very, that is like a pipe dream really because you're always going to have a few fails and stuff. Um, and next was a Cotton Traders brand new in like its packet, uh, turtle, turtleneck, uh, I don't know if it is jump or a t-shirt or something. Um, and I paid two quid for that and I got £13 including postage. So yeah, happy with that one. Nice little foray into clothing. Um, and I think that's the best way to get into clothing. Being very, very new in the clothing niche, I feel that your brand new stuff is a really good way to get into it. It's very easy to deal with. Um, so yeah, that, yeah, that was a nice little sale. And it wasn't too horrible to list for me because it was brand new. Um, I do find clothing very, very hard to list for some reason. Um, I don't know what it is. I just don't take much pleasure in listing it. Um, but the brand new stuff, yeah, nice and easy. And finally uh, is this Remington Envoy typewriter. I think it was Envoy 2 or Envoy 3. Really like dealing with these things. Um, don't know why, I just really like dealing with them. And I got £35 plus postage, paid seven quid maybe two or three weeks ago. So really nice quick turnover and I can't really complain on that one. So so yeah, that's it anyway for the sales update. Some okay sales, nothing outstanding, outstanding. Um, but certainly some sales in there that went really quick and I'm happy about that. So uh, you may have noticed that, uh, that a couple of those sales I did post on my Facebook page. So if I'm doubling up, I do apologise. But I did want to uh, include those sales in this video so that the people who don't follow me on Facebook uh, can see them as well. Um, and if you don't follow me on Facebook already, you can go over there to get sort of early access to some of my sales and things like that. Um, so yeah. You can go down below, in the, the link is in the description. And I'll leave it there guys, thank you for watching. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now guys. Hope you enjoyed that video guys. Don't forget to go down below for exclusive content all free over on my website and blog. Updated every week just for you guys. So see you over there.